views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. Hi, welcome. This is Dr. John Martini. This is one of the most amazing and inspiring shows that you can listen into. If you want to be on the edge of your seats, if you want to open up your heart, if you want to expand your mind, and you want to meet incredible people, stay tuned because you're just about to experience a transformative radio show that will change your life. And you're listening to the Dr. Pat Show is coming up right next. The following audio is via a Skype call. Welcome to the Dr. Pat Show. Talk radio to thrive by. Powerful, inspiring, and coming to you live, bringing you stories of people like you and me, busting through and living life full out. Get ready to dare to wonder what your life would be like if you knew you could not fail. Hey, everyone. Welcome back. I'm Dr. Pat. You're listening to The Dr. Pat Show and Transformation Talk Radio. Um, I'm here with my sidekick, Mr. Benny Mathers. Um, You know, every once in a while, I get inspired about something other than radio. And I was reflecting upon a time of learning. And I was talking to a woman yesterday, an amazing woman, uh, uh, and Karen Lovely, and I was talking with her yesterday, and we were talking about our childhood stories, and, you know, we were talking about our lives and what we've been through, and people ask me, what was it like, Pat, for you to lose your mother at age six um, to suicide? What was that like? And, you know, I used to have an answer to that question that's very different than what I'm going to say to you. The answer is, had that not happened to me, I would not have, my dad would not have remarried, possibly, the woman that he married, my mom, uh, Doris. And my mom was 25 years younger than my dad. She had her first child at 12, her second child at 13, because that's what they did in the South back then. And what she taught me was the power of perseverance. She taught me in many, many ways. She taught me in persisting to do something that I didn't think I could do. You know, it took me 13 years to get an undergraduate degree, and I know I got it because of what she taught me. She taught me tenacity, determination, staying power. This is our 14th year in an industry that I pay for every hour of airtime we do, every minute, thousands of dollars. But the staying power, the perseverance of this, to be steadfast in the conviction of what we're doing in the world and, and how we're in service of all of you, I learned from this amazing woman who died very, very suddenly and had not had the, uh, the life to see how her teaching to me uh, turned into this thing that we call now Positive Talk Radio. And she also taught me not to give up before the miracle happens. And she said, life is filled with many, 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 many miracles. And so today I want to share a poem with you that I dedicate to her, but I also dedicate to all of you who are fighting for freedom right now, who are fighting for your voice, who are fighting for the truth, who are fighting for the unwavering, unwavering level of integrity and freedom in this beautiful, amazing country. So I hope that you hear something that inspires you now. Hi, this is Patty Basili. You know, I've given a lot of thought to certain things in my life recently. I think there are people that, that cross our path in life. Maybe some of us get to know them rather well. Maybe others, not so, not so close up and personal. But if we take a moment to step back, if we take a moment to 
to really open our hearts. What we'll discover is that these individuals touch us in a way that's hard to describe, but we are forever, ever changed. This poem has become, for me, symbolic in what it means to rise up, what it means to live a life that truly others can reference. Point two. On the radio, I've, I've probably interviewed over 8,000 people, have read as many books, and never quite heard a message as powerful as this one. Parts of it are even difficult for me to, to read, but I wanted to share this. Because in the day and age when you turn on a television set and our leaders are less than respectful to each other, or you might give up hope because the economy may not be going in the direction we want it to go, or you're trying to figure out how to take care of your health and your wellness, not quite sure if there will be a way for that to happen in this country. There is a message. There's a message that goes beyond hope. And I want to share it with all of you. Perseverance. When the veil of darkness has draped itself around your life and concealed the tears of your pain and despair, when the destiny you had envisaged has all but faded like water amongst the golden sands of the desert, when you stand alone in your hour of adversity and need and no one, no one is willing to stand beside you, when the battles within your life are on the verge of defeat and ruin, when you are exiled within your own mind and your heart is empty and is merely watered by the tears of your agonized and anguished soul, when you feel like a bird caged behind bars which once flew high above snow-capped mountains free and unhindered and now reach out to touch the essence of your dreams, when tears and sorrow have embraced your soul and the temples of your dreams lie in ashes like the ruins of ancient age gone by, and there are no traces, no traces of your footsteps in the valley of your dreams. When the haunting silence of the darkness hangs like a shadow within the depths of your heart. When you cling like a child to the dreams of yesterday. When the light of dawn refuses to appear. The sun refuses to shine. When each day has become an eternal struggle to survive, when there is no light amongst the darkness within your existence and when your wounds cry out to be healed, when fear has held courage ransom and your soul stands in solitude and loneliness, choking its tears of isolation under a moon which no longer smiles, no longer yearns to gaze at its children, the stars, when all those around you have betrayed you when love has left your heart and refuses, refuses to return. And when you no longer believe in yourself, when pain and grief are your constant companions, when there is no vision, no vision within the mist of your agony, no one, no one is willing to listen to and understand you. When peace seems to be in a distant world, when life no longer has the belief to run within your veins, when you have become a fugitive within your own mind and shackled like a slave within your own insanity, refuse, refuse, I say, with every last drop of sacred blood within your bruised and battered body, Refuse to surrender your soul to the pains, the pains of your existence. You must, you must, you must believe in yourself. Even, even if all those around you doubt you and doubt in your ability to rise from within the insanity in which your life now finds itself and stand tall to stand tall against the obstacles and the challenges within your life, to do this and you will conquer all, all that you believe cannot be conquered and all, all that which you believe you had lost within your life. 
for it is from the darkest, those darkest hours of our lives, from the depths of our despair and in our greatest hour of adversity, that we find an inner strength, that we find an inner courage, that we find an inner meaning so vast that it enables us to rise, rise from our knees and stand tall and fight, fight that which has made us weak. Just as water runs from a stream, as the oak tree stands strong and upright, as snow, the softest and most peaceful of nature's elements, covers the most fierce of mountains and tames its anger, portraying it merely as a pawn within the hands of nature, so new, so new life and meaning will emerge from your inner, deepest, source, soul, life force, Do not, do not at any cost, do not at any cost surrender your life to the weakness within your life. Do not, do not surrender, do not surrender your life to the mediocre thoughts of others. Do not, do not surrender, do not surrender the belief you hold in yourself and in your abilities. Do not Do not surrender. Do not surrender the dreams that you have worked so hard to hold within the palms of your hands. Your hands. For what right do others have to judge another's dreams? For they have not, they have not walked a mile in your shoes. There are no limits to your courage and determination, none. The only limitations are those that we place upon ourselves. Our thoughts make the world what we want it to be. So mold your thought into a weapon, a weapon, a weapon of immense power, a weapon of immense empowerment. Wipe away the tears from your heart. Wipe away the tears from your heart and let your life be brushed by the fingertips of your immortal soul. Breathe deep. (sighs) Breathe deep with purpose and a deep-held conviction. There is an inner strength and an inner peace within us all. An inner peace which the world cannot penetrate and the hypocrisy and ignorance of the human mind cannot poison. Embrace with me, embrace that inner source of strength, and you will become fearless, and the obstacles within your life will seem insignificant. You must. You must be undisturbed and stern in your resolve. The resolve that you are a creature so versatile and resilient that you cannot be defeated. And you must hold firm in that conviction that you will not be defeated. You are a creature of the boundless beauty and perseverance. You are a creature which can and which will endure. There is nothing that you cannot achieve. Nothing. There is nothing that you do not have the ability to overcome within your life. Nothing. Harness the power of your mind, for it is your greatest barrier. Harness the energy of your soul, for it is the greatest gift. You are an individual of immense courage within the battlefield of life, and there is no greater battle than that which will be fought with your own life. You must not, you must not, despite the pain, despite the despair, despite the grief, despite the intensity, despite the loneliness within your life, you must not surrender the very essence of your dignity and hope to the enemy which hovers around you in pursuit of conquering both your mind and your soul. 
and your very essence. I, I do not believe in defeat. I do not believe in defeat because defeat does not believe in me. I, I do not believe. I, I do not believe in fear for I am fearless. I, I, I do not believe in pain. I do not believe in pain for I find strength, strength in the weaknesses of my enemies. Within the midst of your despair and in the obstacles and the challenges that life presents before you be calm and peaceful. Calm and peaceful. Calm and peaceful. An angry and misguided mind will make decisions and judgments based on haste, based on anger, which in the long run will continue to merely add to your suffering. Whereas the peaceful mind, that peaceful mind within, that peaceful mind within that moment of insanity will have the ability, the ability to bring forth a clear, a reasoned judgment and solution and awareness, awareness to face the challenges at hand. Hear me when I say this. No one, no one owns you, so you have not lost anything. Only you can give away or surrender all, all that you hold to the challenges within your life. Control your mind. Honor your mind. Love your mind from its aimless wandering within your own insanity. Thank it to think positively and with purpose. Love it to think positively and with purpose. And once you have conquered your mind, you will also introduce yourself to an inner peace, an inner peace which will bring meaning, meaning and a freedom to both your life and your thought and your soul. Do not, I tell you, do not, do not kneel before anyone, for your knees were not made for such purposes. They were made for the purpose of enabling you to stand upright, tall. Be like, be like that elephant which once upright will not easily be brought to its knees. Adapt your mind, adapt your thinking. Adapt your actions, adapt your life to the challenges which have surrounded your existence. Adapt in deep gratitude to the journey of the soul. You and you alone hold the foundations of your dreams and your destiny. You hold them in the way you approach the challenges and the obstacles within your life. Do not, I say do not falter In the face of adversity, rise, rise to the challenge, however difficult it may be. For your difficulties will only, only be difficult if you believe them to be difficult. How, how can you, how can I, how can we, how can we fear that which we have never challenged? How can I fear that which I have never challenged? Endure. Endure and challenge the pains of your existence. Endure and challenge the pains of your existence for freedom. Freedom will wait for you. And it will eventually embrace you. A loving embrace. A powerful embrace. An eternal embrace. In defeating the challenges within your life, Continue to be a great person, a grateful person, a person of immense possibilities. Do not become like your enemies, for to do so will deprive your soul of the peace it desires. Deprive your soul of the enormous, limitless possibilities. 
you must, you must be like the seasons of the year, ever changing, ever adapting, ever growing, ever challenging. Nature is always in constant change. The old give way to the new. And this, this is the course of life. Yet within this existence, life continues. It evolves and continues to grow despite, despite its pains. Your time has not yet come. Your time has not yet come to let nature embrace you in its totality. So go forth in the wilderness of your life and reclaim that which Mother Nature granted you at birth, the right to dream, the right to live, and the right to be who you want to be. Let nature embrace your soul on your soul's journey to honor the person who you are, the person who you will become. Let life give you the gift of gratitude in others and the power and the perseverance for more than you can imagine. Challenge with the might of your mind, the courage of your soul, and your inner strength, all the barriers, challenge them all that your existence places at the gates of your destiny. If you don't risk anything, if you don't risk anything, you risk even more. For within the midst of our suffering, there is meaning. There is purpose. There is the ripple effect of love of courage, of perseverance, of hope, and of eternity. As Carl Jung once commented, your vision will become clear only, only when you look into your heart. Who looks outside? Dreams. Who looks inside? Awakens. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for tuning in, turning us on. And, you know, you know that you are on the edge of your own miracle, your own life, your own version of perseverance. And I hope that this reading, this amazing poem has touched you in some way to remind you you're not alone. You don't have to do whatever you're about to do alone. And you're always loved and supported. Thank you for listening. Stay tuned for another hour of Transformation Talk Radio. The audio was via a Skype call.